Ciao Juventini Calcio and Football Lovers of the World, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well, guys, it's time for me to stop looking for excuses, it's time for me for pushing back, it's time for me to be brave, brave enough and taking my moment to do the prediction, who will win the World Cup, we'll do it with FIFA 23 predictor, the two first team of each group, there are eight groups and then knockout stages until the final, will it be Argentina, the big favorite, will Lionel Messi final? win his World Cup? Will Cristiano Ronaldo take revenge? Will it be Spain, the young Spain? Will it be Brazil, sixth World Cup in their history? Will it be Belgium, the country where I'm living? We will go and probably it will be a controversial video because you will probably not agree with who I believe will win the World Cup. You will be pissed off probably. So we will go and do it together. After the prediction, I give you the latest update with yesterday, Belgium losing 2-1. Attenzione versus Egypt. That's not the really great preparation for start their World Cup, Serbia did fantastically well, and all the other things like Luis Enrique that revealed who he wants to see winning that World Cup, and it's not Spain, so we'll go through that. We start immediately without any waiting for the people that are just joining, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, I will give you updates about a about uh, the World Cup, of course, during these days until the 18th of December. Put a maximum of like for the Juventini that are asking where is the Juve news? Sergei Milinkovic Savic, I will tell you in another video today because it will be a full focus on Mercato of Juventus. We start immediately with Group A. We know that we have four teams. We have Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal and the Netherlands. I'm going quite easily and I believe that everyone is going with Netherlands as being first of Group A. Should be easy with uh, players like Van Dijk, De Ligt, Depay, attention, they can do it quite easily because they are the strongest one in that group. Then we can we can argue, will it be Qatar that can finish uh, second because they are host of the World Cup or not? I believe not, even if I still believe that they can win 1-0 versus Ecuador. But I go with, uh, I go with, uh, I go with uh, the African team, Senegal. I go even if they don't have money. The group B, quite easily, England should be the strongest one of all of them. Then I was hesitant between USA and Wales. Uh, USA will go through as well. Group C, I go with Argentina, the big favorite of the ter tournament quite easily for them and I go with Chesney and Milik third of the no second of the group group D and here we go with France even if they are missing for the opening game Benzema even if Nkunku is not there even if Varane will not play the first game they should easily top up that group then you never know about that really strange curse of the winner of the World Cup that is eliminated in the group stage they should be able to do it in a group that probably will see Denmark as second of the qualification group E I go with Spain first even if the Germans will be second why because German is always a solid team we don't speak a lot about Germany, they can do it, attenzione for the continuation of their, their World Cup, but Spain, with all the enthusiasm of their young kids, if they found a way to go to the goal, they can do it. What about the uh, Group uh, F, the one that is really difficult to predict? Well, I tell you that Belgium will be eliminated immediately in the group stage. I don't see them going to the knockout stages. So for me, the first one will be Croatia. And then I'm hesitant between Canada and Morocco. I go with Morocco. The surprise, two African teams are ready to the knockout stages. Attenzione to Morocco. Even if they are missing their favorite player or the biggest player from Olympique de Marseille, Morocco can do the surprise. Hey, guys, let me know if you believe that uh, Belgium as well will be eliminated. Brazil, group win from group G and then the second one the dark horses can be Serbia even if Switzerland can put a lot of teams in difficulties we saw it in the previous tournaments and then we finish with group H Portugal Ghana Uruguay and uh, Korea Republic I believe that Portugal can top up that group with Uruguay being second even if even if maybe now nah, you know what I changed Uruguay first Portugal second hey Guys, it is what it is. Uruguay first. Attention to Uruguay. So we have already our 16 teams that will go through to the next stage. So we have Netherlands and USA. I'm sorry for McKenny, for uh, Pulicic and all the other players from USA. You will have to wait until 2026 to be back. The Netherlands go through for Argentina and Denmark. Even if Denmark is a solid team, Argentina should have no problem to beat that one. And uh, England, Senegal. England goes through. It's coming home. Maybe, maybe, yes, maybe, no. France, Poland. Uh, it's a pity for our friends from uh, uh, Juventus, Milik and Chesney, but I believe they will be eliminated. 
eliminated with France going through. What about Spain, Morocco? Hey, the derby because they are uh, actually neighbors. Spain will go through. Brazil, Portugal will be a big game already in the knockout stages because Portugal finished second according to my prediction. Brazil go through. Croatia, Germany. Attenzione here. Attenzione. I go with Croatia winning it at extra time and then Uruguay, Serbia will be the games of the underdogs. I go with Serbia going through. Next one, the Netherlands versus Argentina. Spain versus Brazil, England, France, Croatia, Serbia. Attenzione because that can be already three big, big games with Croatia and Serbia. That will be a big game to, accept, to arrive to the semi-final. Netherlands, Argentina. I go with Argentina. Spain, Brazil. A fantastic game with Brazil going through. England, France. Hey, hey, hey. Ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ho. England going through. It's not going home neither this time. And then we have Croatia, Serbia with Serbia going through. The revelation of that tournament. Argentina, Brazil will not be the final of the World Cup like a lot of people are expecting or wishing. It will be Brazil. Brazil going through. And then I tell you, France versus Serbia. Serbia goes through. Serbia goes to the final, I tell you guys. Attenzione. Hey, it's a big one. Who wins? Brazil. Brazil wins. Who is third? We don't care. We don't care, but we will put uh, France because uh, Argentina, they will give up. They will give up. They will collapse. Argentina fourth, France third, second Brazil, uh, second Serbia. First one is Brazil. Attention, this is my, my personal prediction. It went really fast. Maybe I will be totally wrong. Tell me, Serbia, seeing them that far, that far in the tournament, going second, is something that I was not even predicting because I did it without preparation. So, uh, we don't know. We never know. We never know. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And we will continue now with the other news, the news of the days that are speaking about the update of yesterday World Cup Qatar 22. Well, if Italy didn't qualify, at least we will have some Italian presence in the World Cup with Daniele Orsato, the referee that will be there for the first game of Qatar and probably he will go until the final. I'm quite sure about it. It's really strange, guys. The Italian people, they can't support the national team, so they will support the referee. Really strange for Juventino to say that. Anyway, we continue with sport that uh, showed actually the picture with El Ultimo Tango, the last dance the ultimate tango from uh, Lionel Messi showing actually the ad of Adidas that was showing the five different Messi's last World Cup for Messi will he be able to win it yes or no a lot of controversy yesterday from the fans that were saying that Adidas copied a bit the ad of Nike for their World Cup with Ronaldo Young, Ronaldo Old, Ronaldinho and so on and so on. Well, it will be really strange if Adidas was able to copy the idea of uh, Nike in only three days. Anyway, no controversy for me, but it's really strange that they had more or less the same idea. What about Messi? Well, uh, let's see. Luis Enrique, uh, he, speak, he spoke yesterday because you know that he opened the Twitch channel. Really strange for a coach. I told it. I hope for Spain it will go well. Otherwise, it will be a disaster on Twitch. Yesterday, he said... If it's not Spain to win the World Cup, I hope that it's Messi. I see a lot of support for Messi. A lot. Too much support for Messi, I tell you. The truth. I don't know why. Why Messi? Why not Ronaldo? Why not Neymar? I don't know. I don't know because Brazil is already 20 years that they are not winning the World Cup. Anyway, a lot of people are supporting him. Let me know who you are supporting. What you think about Messi potentially winning the World Cup. Marca. They are continuing with beautiful words from Ferran Torres that said, Aquí somos todos amigos. Y eso se nota. What does that mean? here we are all friends and we are noticing it guys i tell you the truth if italy was able to win the euro 2020 it was not because they were the strongest one but it was because they were like this solid friendship and they were showing it guys the groups in seven games potentially if you go to the to to the final the group is fundamental on top of the qualities of course so spain Attention, even if we already did our prediction. What about yesterday? Belgium, they lost 2-1 versus Egypt. Egypt that is not qualified. They uh, did the, the, the winning goal with Trezeguet. Not uh, David, but uh, Trezeguet from Egypt. It was quite funny, actually, because yesterday at the 46th minute, when it was half time, there was Belgium that was losing 1-0. They said, let's turn it around with a tweet. And then, not even one minute 30 later, when the game kicked off, they said goal of Trezeguet 0-2. Disaster. Total disaster. I would uh, recommend to the Belgian admin of Twitter to not, not support too much with written things because it was quite funny. Yesterday, Serbia, they were totally on fire. 5-1 was their victory. They did really, really well with uh, Vlaovic entering in second half with an assist with a beautiful goal. Beautiful performance from uh, Dusan Vlaovic that is, again, in 
in form and I'm happy about that. What about Brazil? Brazil, uh, yesterday uh, they said goodbye and thank you to Italy and to Juventus for the disposal of their training center. Brazil, guys, I tell you, I hate Brazil until or since 94 because the elimination of Italy in that World Cup. Well, them being so kind, so humble, so grateful for Juventus, also having three Juventus players in Brazil. <sighs> I think they will win, but I wish them to do well. I don't know yet. I, I need to I need to see them on the field to to really perceive my my uh, my mixed feeling about Brazil. Anyway, and then we finish with the last group with Cristiano Ronaldo on Corriere dello Sport. They said licenziato, dismissed because yes, Manchester United yesterday they uh, answered to uh, Twitter about the interview with Cristiano Ronaldo, and uh, they are taking some legal action to understand what they want to do. There are some leaks that are saying that they don't want him back and probably dismiss Cristiano Ronaldo. Why am I speaking about that? Because it's not really linked to the World Cup. Well, in a way, yes, and this is why. I believe that Portugal will not finish first of their group because Portugal, they will have too much, too much negativity. Hopefully, hopefully Cristiano Ronaldo can go back to his usual standards and level so that he can take them really far. But if they don't solve it, it will be quite difficult for Portugal. Guys, that was it for me, for my prediction. Let me know. Also for giving you an update about all the teams that yesterday were spoken about. Not a lot of teams were spoken about yesterday. Anyway, it is what it is. Thank you for following the channel. Grazie Forza Football. Ciao.